All right, you guys, today we're going to check out how to make this text effect with wavy patterns that you can find on dollar bills. Now, I won't do a non-destructive version like this where you can rename it and still remain with the effect. The font is not meant for this kind of purpose. So I'm going to start with the waves. I'm going to swap it from field to stroke. Click on the field, click on the non, click on the stroke, make sure it's on the black. And I'm going to select the line, press and hold shift, create the line like this. Let's go to the effects, distort and transform, zigzag. And I'm going to decrease to one. Click on smooth, increase the size, click OK, go to the object, expand appearance, press and hold shift. I'm going to rotate it upside down. And from here, let's go to the properties, strokes. Let's make the cap rounded and activate the dashed line. And as you can see, the first here is somewhere around 163. The gap is 18. You can increase or decrease the gap in between. I got to go somewhere around 17 in this situation for 9 PT stroke thickness. And I can select it, press and hold Alt, drag it down. Also press Shift to isolate, put it under. Let's go back to the stroke. And I'm going to decrease this now. And you also can add another dash here and increase it. This is going to simplify it even more like that. And duplicate them and make sure to create like four or five copies, which are different from each other. And I'm going to create the last copy where I'm going to go to the stroke and uncheck the dashed line. Now select all. I'm going to press and hold alt, drag it down. Also press shift to isolate, press control D a couple of times, select all. And let's go to the align, click on the three dots, align a vertical distribute center. Let's go to the object expand, click OK, right click group, select the rectangle. And I'm going to go here, create a rectangle. And we're going to cut down these half circles here, select both, align it horizontally, vertically like this, select both, press shift plus M, or you can go to the shape builder tool here, press and hold alt plus shift and select these half circles here at the end. So this way is going to delete from the left and from the right. Let's delete the rectangle and I'm going to create some duplicates, press and hold alt, drag it to the right, press control D, select them all, go to the pathfinder, click on unite. Let's select the type tool, scale it up and I'm going to select the Corsaivo headline black. And I'm going to press and hold Alt, drag one also on this pattern and make sure that the text is on the top. So make sure to select the text, right click, arrange, bring to front, select both with the pattern, right click, make clipping mask. And I'm going to select the black typo, press and hold Alt, drag it on the text with the pattern. I'm going to swap it from field to stroke. So as you can see, if I swap it from field to stroke, we got these areas which are separated, which is not that good. So what we're going to do is go to the object, expand, click OK, and let's go to the pathfinder, click on unite. So everything disappeared. Now I'm going to put it on the pattern. And I also going to go to the stroke, make sure to align stroke to outside and I'm going to increase the stroke thickness. And I also going to reposition the stroke or the pattern, something like this. So it's going to create uh, this reflection on the text. I also going to lock this pattern, go to the layer, lock the pattern and I'm going to select the stroke. I also going to add on the fill the white color and now I'm going to select this typo and put it right in the back to create this shadow. And this is how I make this text effect with patterns here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.